standard on you. Ah! 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 Ah!
Something I can do for you, Shepard? My door is always open. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Commander Shepard. I trust you, Michael. What medical upgrades do you want to get for him? I don't know. Maybe we should ask random people on the street what they think. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Yes? You need anything else, let me know. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Maybe a fish, then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with the Citadel. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Ah, 
Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right, I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. What kind of arrangement? Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? Are you expecting what are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around.
That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Just tell me how to find him. The local Merc groups are recruiting anyone with a gun to help them take down Archangel. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. 
Just try not to bring the plague back with you. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. First, then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. Don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arya's Patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? Uh, 
few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. I should be going. or you don't want to. It doesn't really matter. No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. The Destiny Ascension has completed its... Please, human. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thumbs get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Eight vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Plague of the Slums. Is this the end for Omega Spore? Omega's destitute and pathetic are dying in their own filth. Some people demand that something be done. Most of the lives of the Slums live in the Slums. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. 
Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. You're back. You must have seen something you like. You're back. You must have seen something you like. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What I have can things I to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I'll be off the station in no time. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you.
you, you are a plight on galactic purity. You, sir, you are a plight. You. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me up. End. End is not. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Pointless human. There's. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the Plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch! You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. to come in.
Good luck in there. Blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. We've been spotted. <laughs> Can't reach the top. <laughs> left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from your plague. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <gasps> oh, you... you helped me. Why? Told you. I'm looking for somebody. Would you rather I let you choke on your own blood? I suppose not. What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> when I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it, if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No. Bastards, see us in this room. Except we're infected. Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought. 
brought a deck of cards. Take it. You're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. 
What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Sun started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorchus, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. We'll wait here until you've cleared the path. Make sure you clear a good path for us. I don't want to get shot on the way to Morden's clinic. Have a nice trip!
territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. I say we found this stuff it's ours now ah, forget it nothing but junk in here this place is worse than the last one what are you doing in this apartment did you kill that turian what the guy on the floor nah the plague took care of him we're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions stealing from the dead that's pretty low what's the big deal it's not like they're gonna miss anything we're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit Plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Never really found much. Kind of a poor neighborhood, you know? What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcher finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship. Kept the district in line, for the most part. We need to get going. Well, stay here for a while. Get some rest. We got a big day tomorrow. Still plenty of apartments that need our special cleaning services.
No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Zero contacts! Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartment. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Morton says you humans aren't to blame for the plague. Professor, we're running low on Suboxone. Use Melanorin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in Batarians. Supplement with Butemerol. Down there and Butemerol. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass-produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Professor Morden Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough data, equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns? Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes, but who? Someone important, valuable, someone with secrets, someone... Like... me? Me? Looking for me? Why? Who are you? What do you want? I'm Commander Shepard, and I'm involved in a critical mission. I need you to come with me. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? 
Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. This should come in handy. this. Shields. 
I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything.
Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. I've had enough of this. Ah, collectors want plague. You work for Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Enemies in front. Reach the target. Can't get a lock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Watch out! Can't get a lock! Are up. That should be it. Zero contacts. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you from me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I was tempted for a minute, but in the end, I figured they didn't deserve to die. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. The Collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out, no signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus, no. You don't have Slower. to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course, analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that, pilot? No, synthesized voice, simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask, is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. 
Is the lab working well for you? Just need more samples, more collected data. Are any data. medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas, ideas on other yes. ways? Yes, expensive, but possible. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways? Sorry, to I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet, with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. 
Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Shepard, how can I help? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dead before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results-at-all-costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. Way to boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Commander. We'll Commander. talk later. Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. The new... You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. You guys enjoy yourselves. We will. Thanks again, Commander.
What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the law.
No messages for you, Commander. away. Probe. Probe launched. Blue Sun's communication. Stay tight and look out for ambushes.
Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. Ah! 